the truth. Hey guys, what's up? Green Machine Sam back with another video. And today we are finally back after I think two, three months now at this point, not uploading a video. Um, just had some stuff going on. Summer's been fucking crazy so far for me and for just my job and other stuff. So I'm not going to get into it. We're here to do a roster update. So that's what I'm going to do. I have been trying to keep up to date. Um, something you guys will notice is I didn't finish the draft as I promised. I know it sucks. But let's be real, who's going to be using 5th and 6th round guys that we don't even know who are going to make the, uh, you know, the 53-man roster? So, I have all signings up to date and stuff, and I do have some moves that I've been thinking about doing to my roster that I've kind of, you know, done. Um, so, let's first get into the roster, then I'll show you guys how to download it and stuff um first off melvin ingram to the steelers that's a day or two old now at this point maybe less than that uh it says he's wearing number eight on uh wikipedia and some other sources say he's gonna wear a single digit number so i just went with eight um vince williams one of their steelers inside linebackers retired he's gone um and then some of the stuff that i have done uh a, there's going to be some people, more people on punter, um, you know, guys like uh, Eric Berry. I just don't think he's going to play at this point. I think he's asking for too much money. Pouncey's retired. Matt Moore was just an old qu quarterback, just going to retire him. What difference does it make? Tremont Williams retired. Gilchrist, old safety, I don't think has played in two years. He retired. Costanzo, Earl Thomas, I think with his... Locker room concerns, I don't think he's going to play again. Uh, Phillip Rivers did. Davis did. Gordon, he's just a punter. He did ask for reinstatement. I don't know if he got it. Richard Sherman is a new one. Uh, he does have a lot of legal trouble coming his way, from what I've heard. I haven't looked into the situation. I don't want to speculate and be like, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble or whatever. It does sound like he will be in a little bit of trouble. I don't know if people are willing to sign him now, especially with his age, and he's probably asking it decent chunk of change Patrick Chung Drew Brees Kaepernick the reason why I did Kaepernick is I don't think he's ever gonna play in the NFL again I just don't think he is and B I just don't like it when teams go out and sign him in the franchise and they win a Super Bowl because he's like an 80 overall uh Greg Olson Vince Williams Deshaun Watson I did move to punter because we don't know if he's gonna be playing this year he has like some stuff on Twitter saying or Instagram I don't know which one it was on that he will be trying to play. I don't know if he's going to be playing or if he's going to be playing for the Texans. So he is a punter right now, trying to make this as realistic as possible. Now you may say, why is Dave Castro here? He only got released. He hasn't officially retired. He has basically come out and said that if that if he does not feel like it, he will just retire. He he he'll just retire. He's kind of in that stage where Unless he probably goes to play for a contender for a decent chunk of change, he's probably retiring. I think he's going to have his ankle surgery. I think he's going to leave that NFL behind. He's probably just going to go live the rest of his life. He's probably made a decent amount of money. So those are some of the guys that I have added. Of course, there's other guys at like kicker and, and quarterback. McCown, Schwab, Gabriel, Edelman, and Lee. Those all five guys retired, definitely. They have all put it out. Woodyard, he's an old linebacker. I don't think he's played in two years. He's gone. AQ Shipley, I think, has a neck problem. Witten has officially re-retired. Weston Richburn, I think he has like a back or neck problem. Marcus Gilbert, he's just been injured, and I think he officially retired. Sherman retired. Jones is another one of those old safeties asking too much money. Can't keep up with the young guys. Morgan Burnett, I think, officially retired. Iupati did. Kevin Johnson did. He was actually a recent one. He retired just a couple weeks ago, I think. Alonzo and Jordan Reed. Um, if there's anybody else, let me know. If there's anybody else in major legal trouble that you guys want me to move to move to a different position, let me know. Uh, one of the recent ones I saw, besides like signings of draft picks, was Damian Willis. He was on the Broncos. He just got he just got waived. Lamont Gallard goes to the Bengals. Um, he's a backup center. Could could fight for that starting job if Trey Hopkins isn't healthy. Hell, he can even play guard. Um, I, I personally liked him. I don't know if the Cardinals just want to move in a different direction. If, 
you know, he's been a locker room trouble. I, I don't know what his problem is. Nothing's really come out. Of course, he is a backup, so I don't think anything's going to come out. But with guys like Billy Price being a bust, they don't know how long they're going to have Quentin Spain for and just other questionable pieces on the offensive line. I think this was a great pickup for them. Um, so, who knows? Uh, I do have some other Madden content coming out. Well, not content. It's going to be a discussion video. Um, basically, what my thoughts are on some of the new features we've seen, as well as my content plan for 22. Um, also, a discussion for you guys to see what you guys want to see. Stuff like that. Um, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, I know I'm mostly up to date on numbers. I know Eddie Jackson went to four. Damian Williams is going to eight. Um, I don't think anybody, Jamar Chase is staying at one. Uh, I know Manuel Sanders, number one, um, Broncos. I know two of their guys changed numbers because Kyle Fuller is supposed to technically be at 23. I don't know why he isn't because um, Sertan's going to two. Michael, o I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I, he's going to 13 because they also released uh, one of their other guys. At least I think Fuller's going to 23. Maybe I didn't save it when I did. I'm going to put him at 23. If somebody can correct me on that, go ahead. Uh, but if there's any other n number changes, go ahead. Look through the roster first. If you see somebody like even Quentin Dunbar, I got done. I got some very obscure guys done. Um, so if you guys see any other number changes, let me know. I'll more than happily do them because uh, it's something simple and uh, all that. Because I have went through and started to change some of the rookie numbers as well. Uh, like I said, I did not get past the fifth round. I figure most of those guys won't even make the 53-man. They'll be practice squad guys. And the A won't even have them on the roster next year. Well, they'll have them on the roster, but they won't have them like, on the teams because they will practice squad guys. So, if there's anything else, just let me know. I, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I'll try. I'll try, try. Madden makes it very hard for roster update people to change overalls because they don't let you see the overall. They don't let you, you know, all this and that. So, I'll try when 22 comes out to um, just overhaul, get, get overalls based. Uh, if you think I should do something, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers has hit the point where he has to de tell if he's sitting out or not. I think he has to do that within the next week or so, or he already has had to. So if he ends up saying, I'm sitting out this season, I'm done with the Green Bay Packers, I'm done, they can trade me or I'm not playing, then I'll move him to punter and keep him on the roster because I think it'll still count as uh, cap against them. Mitchell Schwartz hasn't made a decision. I know there's been a lot of rumors of, you know, just teams without tackles, chargers, uh, fuck, there was another one. Uh, I forget which team it was. I think chargers were the major one. Not entirely sure. There were some rumors of him going to different teams, but if you guys hear anything about any other players, let me know. I know I'm saying, let me know, let me know, let me know. Um, but I just want to make sure the roster is good for you guys so that if you guys do plan on staying on 21 since, I don't know, some of you guys might not have the money to do that or are people that can't make money because you're underage or whatever, let me know. Uh, I should probably actually save that. So I'll have to re-upload this, but it will be live when you guys see this because it probably because this probably won't come out until the p.m. of the 23rd. So, But now let's just I'm just going to go through it just to make sure everybody knows how to download it if you guys are new here. This is how you guys do it. You guys want to go over to this little gear tab. It's called settings. It looks like a little gear. Go to share and manage files. And you guys want to go to download community files. My roster is the second easiest to find. You want to know why? Because you only have to scroll down one part. You only have to scroll down once. Hit the down on the D-pad once. We are the number. Are you really going to fucking do this right now? Sometimes my Madden literally just doesn't let me on the community files. Here we go. I'm the second most downloaded roster. I'm, well, I'm the first most downloaded roster. I'm the second most downloaded file in all of Madden. I'm only behind Gene Dangus. Bangle on YouTube. He does the rebuilds. You've probably seen him. He has his draft class. Um, so, I'm the second file. I am super easy to find. This is my number one downloaded file. 
you guys want to go look up the other files, you can, but the other files have nothing special on them. They just have different names because I figured they could get some downloads and it would push me higher and get more people interested. So, just download the Madden 21 roster update, overwrite your old file. This will have all the new people. Now, yes, I cannot change age. I cannot change contracts. So that stuff will be messed up. So in the first year of your franchise, all all the teams are going to have a decent chunk of change, decent amount of cap space. Because rookies and people on deals right now are not on the correct deals. If you want to make it realistic, just go through maybe even just even if it's just your team, upgrade everybody's age by one year and decrease their contract years by one. Most of the guys on the teams should have. If they do have a one-year deal, they should be there on the team right now in training camp. So be aware of that. That's really all I have to tell you guys right now. Like We've already went over retirees, uh, people with cases open right now and stuff like that. Um, like I said, picks 1 through 144 are done. If you guys need to move people, if you guys need, if you guys want numbers changed, whatever, let me know. I'm more than willing to make changes. Hopefully I'm back on YouTube for at least for now again. Hopefully I don't have any more issues. Plus anytime I did get time to record, it was just I was just tired or I just had other shit to do. So hopefully I'm back. Hopefully this means that Man 22 will go great as soon as we start. I don't know exactly when it comes out. I would assume it's less than a month because it is end of July. I, I would assume it comes out about when the preseason starts. Um, but I'll get in more, more details in that in my Madden content video. But with that being said, guys, if you guys like this type of stuff, if you guys want to see more of it, I do have some 2K stuff coming on the way. Hopefully those will come out within the next couple days. And I'm out. Peace.